This is the Philips TAB8967 soundbar. 5 to 1 to 2 sound system supports Apple AirPlay, supports Chromecast, supports Dolby Atmos. My God! Let's check it out. So this soundbar comes in a three-part system. You have the bar itself, two tweeters and a subwoofer. The design of these devices is pretty good. It has a low profile, making it relatively easy to pair this up with any TV out in the market. The bar has an array of speakers positioned at the top and front, making it a much better configuration to bounce the sound around the room. In fact, the top and bottom placement design also extends to the tweeters, which is good because it gives the sound a more fuller feeling, if that makes sense. Okay, so the listening experience when it comes to watching movies is actually pretty good. I like that there's an emphasis on the voice, so it's very easy to pick up what the actors are saying. The other aspects are also good. The booming sound that comes from the explosions doesn't sound muddled. I actually really like the rumble that it produces from the subwoofer, but the vocal clarity is probably the biggest point here. When it comes to music, it will depend on the quality that you're listening to. Low quality is definitely not going to take advantage of the actually decent subwoofer, but if you find some high quality music on Spotify or even YouTube, then then I think it is very good. The default settings is too bassy in my opinion, but luckily you can adjust all of that from the remote itself. So once again, I think that the trebles or even the highs is probably the best selling point about this soundbar. The mids are a bit too strong in my opinion, but I don't think that that's going to spoil the listening experience. And speaking about adjustment, you can change up the equalizer from the remote with different settings like music and movies. I found that music to be the best setting across all the different types of content, but that just comes down to a preference thing. You can also adjust the intensity of Atmos and changing the input, which has an aux, Bluetooth, eARC, and USB. And here are the ports that come with the soundbar. Of course, aside from that, you also can link up your smart assistant to the soundbar. So for example, you could use Google and Siri to play back music into the soundbar. Alternatively, it also supports Chromecast and Apple AirPlay. So that's great because then you can stream high quality music from services like Tidal and even Apple Music and that listening experience is honestly really great. As for the remote, it feels really good in my hand. I like that all the buttons are very clear. You have your equalizer button, your input, volume, and even the option to control the intensity of Dolby Atmos. It's also a very clean design, and I think that your grandma, who is not tech savvy, will probably have a very easy time controlling this soundbar. Of course, we did not forget about gamers because you have 4K pass-through, so you can get both 4K visuals and audio without loss in quality. So just plug it into a 4K HD HDR TV and you will get a very immersive gaming experience. So guys, there you have it. That is our first impressions of the Philips soundbar, the TAB8967. Now, I think that if you want to enhance your sound system at home and you really like all the smart features that a soundbar has, then this is a very good soundbar for you to get. Now remember in our previous video, we did an AOC TV review and we actually hooked up this soundbar to the AOC TV and boy guys, is great. Honestly, this entire setup, I'm very happy with this right now. So once again, links will be in the description. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.